No, yeah. we didn't wash my hands. Yeah. Why, why would I have a fucking weapon in church? church? Why would I have a weapon? What are you preaching for? Put your fucking, get your hand yeah. up there. I see the news. I know what you crazy sir, fuckers are doing. That. I see what you crazy well, fuckers are You guys' job is going to be out there watching all of the potential here. You're all out of here. You're kind of communicating with you. Mike, Sean, and Gus. Service. Sir, could you take your hands out of your pockets? Put my hand in my pocket. Yeah. Just show me your hands. Show me your hands. Put the knife down. Put the knife down. yourself on the other side of the table because you were right there and if I decided to take that even if I'm shot I'm within 10 feet hey, of you. Hey sir, how you doing? Good. Can I help you? You got my uh, granddaughter. She's like four years old. I was here to pick her up. Okay, do you have the uh, wristband or the... No, the, I, yeah. I got the court back and it's like my, my, my daughter back. wants me to come and get her before the numb nuts gets out of the church. So, okay, so you're so not going so you're good. whatever. Can you, you're like standing right there. Can you go get her? She's four years old and it's fate. Okay? Because I, I just wanted to go get her okay, to see this. I, this. Uh, I don't need to see that, but I'm going to go check on Faith real quick. Okay. And you guys are going to be able to, right here at this table, okay. get the documentation out. Here's my note. Uh, water? No, I'm good. Because we can get the documents out. Let's yeah, get the documents and we'll take a look at it. Okay. Do you want to? Okay. I told you to get away from me. Hey, Stay up. away from me and here. You you're are here. You're following me and what you're is following me you? and you're doing all crazy. kinds of stuff. You are crazy. You're stalking me. You're stalking, this man stalking me. Look at look at her, man. He okay, doesn't even go to can church you guys, here. Can you step can you over here and security or something? Yeah. You need to get him, him out of here. I'm not going. You get out of here. You're stalking me. You get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here, get out of here. right now. Get him away from me. You don't need. You got me all run. Get him away from me. I need it. Because I I stressed. We don't go hands on unless we're physically threatened or somebody else physically threatened. This is a little bit different situation than going hands on. We're not fighting with this person. We're just, we're just physically. Hey, man, come on. Can you go? How's it going, sir? Hey, not bad. How you doing? Great. Is there anything we can help you with? Nope. No. No. Yeah. Dollars for the fifth. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, um, I'm waiting for my wife more than my kid. And uh, this is a Jesus place, right? You guys are Jesus yeah. people, yeah. kind yeah. of people. <laughs> well, my thought with my wife is, is. Uh, Sir, what's in your left hand? Um, Sir, what I'm talking down. about for my wife is having a come to oh, Jesus man. Right, you got you guys stayed stayed nice, and as soon as I made the turn, I just went through dental responses, decision making process, uh, team building exercises. I think it was absolutely critical for any security team to go through this. Going through uh, live, real-world scenarios, force-on-force -force training is critical to knowing how your teammates are going to act under stress, communication, and how you will handle that situation. It's uh, the practice app that every team really needs.